Hey guys, welcome to March the 8th. So this is uh, Wednesday morning. So I will think um, I will talk about the uh, news that Morgan Stanley is thinking that US will at least raise their interest rate for seven times in the next two years. So seven times in the next two years. So the past two years, how many times they have raised the interest rate? Two times. So seven times is really a big thing. So that we have heard of many news or market updates or analysis about housing, housing and stock market will crash, will collapse completely. So that is um, the burst of the markets, right? So let me say that I think this, if uh, the Fed is going to raise their interest rate for seven times, definitely the bear market, the bubble will be coming soon, but not now. It's, all, uh, it's another example that the market will is, has, doesn't have any bubble right now. So it's an example, it's a proof that the mark, all the markets will go up again. Let me show you why. So in, um, in Asia side, I have hosted another property seminar and courses uh, with the uh, fans in Hong Kong in the Asia market. So this is a little example, one of the signals, one of the one of 20 signals that we will teach in the property school, property class, that the interest rate, how the correlation between the in uh, Fed interest rate and the US housing market. So the blue line, look at that, the blue line is the Fed interest rate cycle in the past two or three decades. And the black dotted line is the property, uh, property market in the US, but it's not in price. The unit is in percent growth, okay? So anywhere if the black dotted line is above zero, that is growing, that's expanding the housing market. It's below zero, that is shrinking, is under recession, okay? So I've highlighted all the interest rate um, the decline and the interest rate hikes in red and green area, okay? So in red ones, you will see the interest rate is going down, okay, it's going down. The green one is the interest rate going up, is um, interest rate hike cycle, okay? So under the green shaded area, do you see the growth of the housing market is above zero, okay? It's er almost every time, it's not almost, it's every time, even ever since um, 90, 1960s, so almost 60 years of proof, okay? Um, the red shaded area, which means is uh, experiencing the interest rate decline is um, cutting, the interest rate is cutting, okay? So when interest rate is going down, oh, it's really such a coincidence that the only place the housing market will experience any shrinking or any uh, recession time is during red shaded area, see? So it's not only two decades, it's six decades of proof. So now I've heard of some comments about, um, I see one of you leaving message saying the housing market in Sydney and Texas is going crazy. I'll tell you that Sydney and Toronto and Vancouver are crazy and London, okay? And Texas is getting crazy. That's crazier because Texas is not um, usually the, um, the area that is going so wild, okay? So now we're experiencing the housing market is go, it seems like there's many bubbles going on in the housing market all over the world. So let me adjust one thing. Every single time when there's a bubble, if there's no bubble, there's nothing to burst, okay? If there's any bubble, the interest rate must be high, okay? Must be high. So right now, it's like 0.75% of Fed rate it's never, never going to happen. There, there's never a bubble happening. So everyone can pay their debts. The second thing is, every time when the bubble happens in the housing market, there's no one, literally no one thing that the housing market will collapse. So now with the experience from 2008, we're really cautious, we're really smart, right? So now people do not, they have not uh, borrowed uh, a lot as much money that we borrowed in 2008. So with these two signals that at least 
there is no bubble happening in US yet. Okay, yet, right now. So what I'm saying is, I'm not sure the housing market will go up now, but I'm sure that anytime if there's no bubble, there's only adjustments, okay? There's only adjustment and setbacks, okay? So the housing market can adjust, but it will hit historic high again and again. Until when, this is uh, what bothers me. Until when the interest rate is as high as three to five percent, then we really have to be cautious of if the housing market has a bubble right now and will burst. Okay, until then, we are pretty much safe. So now you know the main trend is not in your assumption, it's not in the head, it's not in emotion. We are not important as an individual in the market. Market is the one who's important. It's the market and statistics and the cycle. So there's many, many things happening and changing every single second in the market. But there's only one thing that is consistent throughout your entire life. One thing that is expansion, recession, expansion, recession, and then expansion, recession. It's bull and then bear and then bull and then bear. We're really happy and then we're really sad. We're humans, right? Just think of your husband and wife and girlfriend and boyfriend. They really fluctuate, right? The emotion is really fluctuating. I can't guess. I can't estimate. I can't anticipate the their, their next step. But the, con, what is consistent in our emotion is that we are always emotional. That's consistent, okay? So we have to take advantage of the expansion and the recession. Now, understanding the market, now you can personalize your strategy. Let's say I have money, so that's my first house. Just buy it. Just buy it now. Okay. I have money. Uh, I have my first house. You have two choices. You can buy another house or you can invest in the smart stock markets because the stock markets will also hit historic highs and it will challenge its uh, the peaks. Okay. And the third option, the third third way is the third type of people is uh, I don't have money saved up right now. So now work your butt out to save the, the money for the next recession to come. And now after this video, this five minute videos, you will now know you uh, in the bear market, in the recession, it's time to buy a house. Rather than before you have seen this video, you have nothing, no indicator, no nothing to guess the direction and the trends of the housing market. It's just guessing, right? So now this five minute videos will probably, hopefully influence 50 years of your investment strategies and decision. Remember, our decisions is in the uh, is in the consequence, in the cost of our whole, all family members. So it's in your hand that your family members are living with quality of without quality. Okay, it's just one decision. Now you're playing with yourself with the head in your head, or you're playing with actual numbers. Okay. So if you want to know more about what kind of stocks or industry should I invest under this huge and under uh, one, one decade interest rate cycle, interest rate height cycle, you can leave me some comments below so I will reply you or I will record another video about this. So now Morgan Stanley has shown me the way. Now, March the 15th, C if they will raise the interest rate, the percent, the chance is 96% right now. So probably yes, but not that the housing market will go up right now because we have all anticipated the, the, the interest rate hike, you know? So that is something that is not taught in our college, in the university. So when it hit right on your in anticipation, what will happen? It may fall back again. The money will fall, will leave US for in the short term. You understand what I mean? It's short term and long term. Some some of you have been asking me in under the comments. So it's about long term, I'm bullish. Short term, I don't know. I don't need to know. Okay? So that's about investment. It's not speculation. So um, please smash the like button and share this video to your friends or you can save in your playlist and watch it again. So hopefully I can see more at your comments below. I'm really excited that more and more people have been watching my videos and agreeing my movement that investment 
that before we invest, we don't know why. Okay, it's just not tips and following tips, right? So that's it for now. Um, before next time, have a good day. Goodbye.